The Senate was not always a black and bottomless pit of miscreants, lickspittles, dizzards, body men, caitiffs, sheep stealers, harebrains, wretches, sycophants, and dunderheads, sleevenes, slovens, slope soldiered partisans, placeholders, bagmen, fixers, and failures, as it is now. Not always. There have been excellent senators. The great Eugene Forsey, a learned, witty, independent fellow, was just such a man. Forsey knew the Constitution, the country, and the Parliament. And best, he had a sense of honor about all three. Ah, uh, Eugene, what would you be saying now to the lickspittles and placeholders who shadowed a velvet you once adorned? To the Prime Minister, he'd say, stop the stall. Whatever you know at whatever level, put it out, all of it and face the whirlwind. And say on these three high-profile appointments, Wall and Duffy Brazil, you absolutely blundered, because you picked them. And on the Nigel Wright running interference, if, as you say, you had no idea, demonstrate some magnitude of shock that your own chief of staffs could have been so radically wrong, that putting a Bay Street fix, the check, on a parliamentary scandal was possibly the only way of making it worse. Mr. Prime Minister, don't offer a hiccup of a statement and jet to Peru. To Justin Trudeau, Mr. Forsey would say, your own party, the Liberals, has for decades used the Senate as a jackpot table and bingo hall for party hacks, the fixers, and deal makers. Longer than any other party, the Liberals loved it. They perfected the arts of patronage, of feeding their own flock, and giving appointments, sent it on down to those who were their backers. The lords of the back room made the Senate. David Smith, li liberal wizard, is there now, in perfect parallel to Marjorie Le Breton, long server to Mr. Mulroney. So, Justin, trim the righteousness. If the Senate is a black pit, your party did a lot of the early shovel work. To the NDP, the absence of temptation is not the same as not giving into it. The NDP has never been a national government, but at other levels, provincial or municipal, they are every bit as fluent in patronage and place stuffing as their Tory and Grid counterparts. To these senators currently at the center of this mess, all four of them, at the very least, step aside for now, refuse the salary till real inquiry takes place. Self-honor counts. You're hurting your colleagues and the Senate. Mr. Forsey would be wounded by your feeble pulses of integrity and your blistering demonstrations of entitlement. The Senate is not a party bucket, but that's what you've made it. Yes, there are senators who have played by the rules and done good things. Types like Michael Kirby, Colin Kenny, who at least speaks out, and lately Nancy Green for her example. And finally, here's the difference between the Duffies and the Forseys. Forsey sought what he could bring to the Senate, not what the Senate could bring to him. For The National, I'm Rex Murphy.